Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to make a, sci a science experiment and a chemical reaction. Right, with chemical reactions. Uh huh. And it is. Uh, and it's kind of like Orbeez. And it's kind of like Orbeez. Right, it's molecules that we're going to make that are kind, kind of, of like Orbeez. Kind of like Orbeez, exactly. Yeah. So, what we're going to do first, what we've got here is you've got two colors. You've got yellow and red of the sodium alginate. So that's just kind of like a salt type of solution. Mm. And then you also have in these little packets, you've got two of those. And your one goes with each color. So you're only going to use one at a time, one at a time, and that is calcium chloride. So when those two chemicals combine, they're going to make little balls that are gelatin in the middle, but kind of hard on the outside like an orby. So the first thing you're gonna do is cut open one packet of your calcium chloride solution and okay. pour it into your little beaker here. Little plastic beaker. Mm -hmm. I gotta get all the chemicals in there open. Pour it into the empty plastic beaker. There you go. Make sure when you're doing these science experiments that you always have an adult with you. Because you, because, and you also do not want to have a drink because you might actually get the chemicals in your drink. Right, you don't want any food or drink around you and you don't want to drink it yourself or get it on your hands. So once you've got that poured in to the plastic container. Oh, this is gonna, oh. Now Ephraim, go ahead and fill your cup up with water. Fill that up with water and you're gonna fill it up right to the bottom of that little spout. Whoa. That's good, that's plenty, pass. Okay. That's perfect. That's perfect. Is it not pointing? It's not pointing toward the other one, too. There we go. Okay. So, after you've done that, now you're gonna pick a color. So which color are you gonna do first? Can we do both? One at a time. One, because then that's gonna be too much and we're probably gonna get orange. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna take your alginate solution, you're gonna pour little droplets one at a time, hold on just one second, into the calcium solution. And the minute that it hits that calcium solution, the chemical reaction is going to happen and it's going to form into the little ball. Ready? Yeah, I want I want you guys okay. to watch super super Go. closely. There it is. Okay, so keep going, empty out that whole bottle. Oh, and you wow. can experiment with different sizes. Oh, don't yet yeah, do it in drops okay, or else okay. you know yours is going to be all in little tubes. Awesome. So that's kind of cool too. I mean, you can make little tubes also. I mean, pretty neat. Can I feel one? Yeah, you'll just get them out of there in a minute. Once you get it all, your tube. That empty. is feeling like Orbeez. <laughs> I'm gonna have a little tube. I want to make more tubes. That's pretty cool. And some of them sink because they are of a heavier consistency once the reaction takes place, so it's heavier than water, so it sinks. Man. Oh, that's yeah, an so orbium. They're all in tubes. Little tubes, it's kind of snake-like. Wow. So yeah, you can experiment with different sizes. My sink got balls. Gugged. Does that have, did that happen to you? Did you get clogged? My sink got gel gelatin. Well, the polymer that you just made is called a gelatin. Oh, well, it made gelatin, I guess. And they're Orbeez. I just made red Orbeez. So a molecule is a group this of two or more atoms that are held together by a chemical bond. Oh my gosh, what happened, Pask? When I was putting this in, it just exploded. The whole top came off. Oh you see, no! I was. I, it came off my mom. My mom. 
My mom got it all fixed and... But look at it, it makes the the solution on... Oh! Ah! <laughs> well, at least this is pretty cool actually. That is pretty cool. Too so, bad you guys can't feel through a camera. What's it feel like? Like an Orby gel? It feels like a big Orby that has been squashed <laughs> into a big line. tubble. Did you and, make a line? Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I better go change my clothes. Well, and that's exactly why we don't have food by us. We don't have food by us, exactly. This is you why you don't eat or drink when you're doing science experiments. Yeah, uh, I'm just saying that will be January. on our today's news. Do not squeeze one of these when you get gelatin in it. Look at they went all over the table. Mom, all around all over the table. it broke the bottle. Well, hey guys, gelatin balls. Um, well, at least I got gelatin. At least I'm. Apple then, apple. then you put them in here. Yep, exactly. Once you get them all done tonight, you're gonna take this little scoop. You've got a little scoop here. Okay. And scoop them out and put them into the little container. I don't think I can. Because then put we're gonna do the exact same experiment again, but we're gonna use the yellow. Oh. I guess I got a worm. <laughs> well, I gotta tear this apart. Let me see that worm. Hey! Let's see what it looks like up close. Mom? Mom, this is like a blood cell. Oh, look at you got a worm too. Did you do that on purpose? No. No? I meant to. Oh, you meant to. Yeah, you put all the you put a line in there on purpose. Mom, this is no, a I did. Oh, I meant Mom, to. I meant to. Mom, this is a blood cell. There's gel there's that you know that stuff? There's gelatin in there. Yeah. That's really cool. Yep. And then just dump them into your container there. And then you have yep. Orbeez. So on your yellow one, maybe you can try to make it little balls instead of a big blob. What do you think? Yeah, I think I'm gonna have uh, tons of orb. What? I and mean, that turned out really good. I need to pour out all this. Yep. So now you can go ahead and dump out your water. And then we'll start over again. Okay. Okay, so now that you know what you're doing, you gotta yeah. do it again and yeah. make yellow beads. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm still. So same thing. So put it. Oh, put your uh, chlorine. Oh yeah, the chlorine. Chloride in first. Chloride. Or you're gonna calcium make calcium chloride. So you're gonna put that in there first. Not that I wondered what would happen if we put the water in the chlorium first. We put the water first. I'd probably do the same thing. Yeah, we this just want. Then we know we won't add too much water. And this is the part way that we actually don't, um, that we actually don't, instead we just uh, spent money and it's probably just gonna make a big explosion. That would probably work. Yeah. Taking off that way. Okay, you ready? Yellow beads. Let's get a yellow beads. Make a yellow one? Yeah, yeah. Sure it is. They're a little hard to see, aren't they? Actually, it makes it easier. Cool. Though. Yeah, so make different sizes of yellow dots this time, pass. They can kind of sink. And then they pop back. Yeah, yeah, yeah big in. worm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Slum. So, um, oh, you're doing a worm this time, Ephraim? No. No? That's how you just make it drop a good. Yeah, this. I want to go fast. So mom, in this experiment, the small ones sink, not the big ones. Ah, why do you think that is? Because I just made these little small ones. Whenever I do like this, when I'm going fast, I always leave a little track of tons of little ones and they all sink down there. Because if you look up here, you can actually see them. You can't see them because if you look down here, the water is shiny, it's just and you can only see these little guys down there. Uh, I'm playing with it. I'm playing with it now. So yeah, and so mom, guess how you would pretty much do this? Mm -hmm. So you would actually have to cut open all these little grass and you get it all good, and then you actually dip it in. You know why? Why? Because I, I realized something. These, it, you see how there's water in here, you know why? Why? 
because I accidentally ripped one off to chunk it in, there was actually water in there of that. Ah, so the sodium alginate solution, which is the color that you're putting in there right now, changes from a liquid to a solid the moment that it touches that calcium chloride. Will it work if it touches water? So the calcium ions replace the sodium ions and serve as a linking agent. So it links those two polymer chains together. And can I try? You get a different can reaction. I see what it does in the water? In plain water, sure. Okay. Does that do anything? Does it? Actually, let me go touch. Nope, it just turned out. Let's Guys, see. it turned itself into. It just dissolved in it, didn't it? It just disappeared. Disappeared. It's it's gone now. What? Okay. It just dissolved right into it. It must have. So no one drank that water again. Right no. No. So there's no reactions to be made with that. It needs that special chemical bond. Perfect. How do you see people get all this chemical bond and stuff? I don't know. That's the beauty of science. Can I see like this? I just opened up my cap. So they kind of, scientists call this bonding process of these two ions cross-linking. So a cross-linking linked polymer is insoluble in the solution. So that's why it, like with water, it was soluble. So it dissolved into it. But since it's been cross-linked with these two different chemicals. Yeah, have you ever tried doing this? Look, you it turns it into a polymer. Whoa! What to do? You got yellow goo. Look at that. <laughs> That's actually pretty epic. Pretty cool. Science is cool, huh? Yeah. Science is way funner than it's plain something. Yeah, it's way more fun than playing play video, video games, games isn't it? Awesome. And also playing with bunnies and stuff. Do you have yours all put together? Yep, I'll put them in the containers. So then you can take them out and play with them. Later, what are you going to do with them? Now I'm, now I'm like taking a spoon and do water. Speaking of it. Almost done. Do There we go. Oh, do you see if the water did anything yet? Oh, did you put more in the water? Did you put more in there? Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen. It looks like it doesn't disappear. It's yellow in there this time, so you must have put more in there. Here, let's take a popsicle stick and stir it. Stir it up. Dissolving in there. So it is soluble. So, wait. So, if something's soluble, that means that it dissolves into the other solution. Whereas these Orby balls are not soluble. They've got a hard, like, outer shell on them. They don't like each other. That's what they do. They don't like each other, so they're just like, no, get away. Hey, you know what? Oh, I'm making a big mess. That's the fun about science. It's just like an Orby. Hey, you know what? Let me show you guys something. Now the only difference with these and Orbeez though is that these won't absorb water. So if you put them into if you put them into a bucket of water, they will not get bigger. Okay, so Pask has got us our Orbeez here. So we have a big bucket of Orbeez. Here, let's put it on the table. So okay. So we can see what Orbeez look like. Here, see, this is the Orbeez compared that to our Orbeez. Right. The only so the Orbeez get bigger, obviously, because they absorb water. So the gelatin inside of the Orbeez 
absorbs water, and then that's how they grow and get bigger. And that's Whereas like, otters are not going to absorb water, so they are not going to get bigger if you put them into water. But it's the same type of concept. And uh, and guess what will happen? So uh, I, so uh, did you? Okay. So I actually, mom, you're missing something. These uh, have juice inside of them. These do not have juice inside of them. It's like a gelatin, but the Orbeez are gelatin inside too. Yep. You smush an Orbee, they're gelatinized too. Yep. Yeah, see they're gelatinized. So if we have the Orbee on the table there, if I take and smush it, see it's a kind of a gelatin. Let's take one of ours that we just made. And There's squish. ours we just made and squish it. Water just flew out of it. Yeah, see, look. It so it's kind of similar in that same consistency. You see, I'm going to die. Like about the same. I'm going to make this uh, stick yellow. If it's possible. Yeah, so there's a smushed Orby, the white one. And the yellow one is our smushed Orby. This out. Not this it. Mm. And do you know what? Guys, these are attracted to plastic. Look. Oh, yeah, it's traveling with the water. Yeah. And you want to see something? Polymers are plastic. So they are kind of both the same, have the same type of properties. Now watch this. Okay, so if I get this wet in here, look. I get it close. It's attracted. Yeah, the water is binding them. Yeah, now watch, now watch. I, uh, okay, let's dry it off real quick. Okay, it's all dried. Now watch. I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna put it right about here. Look, I get it right there. Yep, the water kind of acts like a magnet. Okay. Boom. Grab a parent and give science a try. Bye, thanks for watching. Subscribe to all of our videos. Bye.